Okay, well, anyway, welcome to Isn't It Obvious. I'm your host, Sarah. Joining me, Micah, Phil. Hello. Hello. Crickets, crickets. Uh, okay, so my topic this evening is, isn't it obvious that watching a movie at home is just objectively better than watching a movie in a theater? Just better. All around better. This applies to pretty much any entertainment, but isn't it just better just being at home in your comfy shitty yes. clothes on your couch? I... I... <laughs> Phil like, has Phil's hands like, raised. Oh my god, please. Please I... pick me. <laughs> For the audience at home, looking at you, is back. I'm going to have my hand over my mouth until Phil has his say. Uh, so, can you give examples why it's better? You're in the privacy of your own home. You can be on your comfy chair or couch. You can, you know, control. You can pause the movie if you have to get up and go to the bathroom so you don't miss anything. You don't have other people necessarily, like, cramming food in their mouth or slurping their pop. You don't have children screaming halfway through the the video, even if it's, like, a 9 p.m. showing. And you're like, why the hell would you bring your child to this? (laughs) Um, I mean, maybe if they're like 11 or something, that's fine. But like, just don't bring your seven-year-old or younger, please. To like a PG-13 R-rated movie. Anyway, all of these things um, are just objectively better in the privacy of your own home where you can just like, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Um, What conditions would change your mind on this? Like objectively better in your own home like one of the things i'm going to ask is for who for yourself or for your guests or like who's the target audience for <laughs> me better? for you okay <laughs> for me so or the the person who wants to see this movie uninterrupted and unbadgered but what about things like um if you had a date and you wanted to bring them over to watch a movie would that still be objectively better or would it be <laughs> How do you live? That's a good question. Hypothetically? Okay, well, as a lizard person, um, this would never happen. <laughs> but um, no, unless you had like a theater kind of set up or like you're, you know, specifically like a nice big screen TV, maybe like, but I, I don't know. I, dating's weird. Um, movie would not be my ideal date in my head, which I have been on and, uh, every time it was just really kind of pointless like I didn't feel like I learned anything about the person I was with I didn't feel like I got any good interactions with them we just sort of sat in a dark theater and watched a movie with like other people and I didn't really bond with them at all is it (laughs) but uh, my strategy here for uh, like a dinner and a date or something like this or dinner and a show dinner would help yeah Um, so I always thought and I could be wrong if you're going on a date you um I guess if you're in good terms or whatever, you go watch a movie. Uh, and, and you can get a lot from this, information-wise, signaling-wise. Um, if I'm going to bring uh, the editor, and let's say this is back in 1997 or whatever, what movie I pick, right? If well, I'm... Wild West. Yeah, mm, Will Smith. <laughs> Sounds like horror Apex. movies to me. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> and uh, that, that has a lot of context clues as of what, um, you know, what is this kid interested in at that snapshot of time? And then, then you go to a dinner, Right, so you go to a restaurant that also provides context clues. But the nice part about this, it dovetails well into what you can talk about. Huh? So you do it the the correct way. I always like had like dinner and then a movie. Yeah, because people consider like because, dinner and a show. Right? Yeah, well, dinner first because it's like at five six o'clock, and right. then you go see the late night movie. You know, it, at seven or whatever after dinner. It, yeah, that late night movie at seven. Shush, my. You know, you know what I mean. Sarah, Nine. we've done this before I found out you were a lizard person. True. You would do dinner and then a movie, but you would probably would want to do it in my head. Movie, then dinner? Movie, then dinner. Have we done movie, then dinner? I don't remember. We, we haven't done movies, and then dinner. We did dinner, then movie. See, yeah. it's always it should, dinner, then movie. That's always well, yeah, what's been with me. It should be that. It's, you're right. It should it be should, the other way. It's, isn't it obvious it should be the other lizard. way? Yeah, it should be. Well, I mean, no, uh-huh. whatever. But... but <laughs> Okay, so in this context of just one example where non-lizard, maybe human people would want to go and... Wow, way to really section us into things. I mean... Lizard and almost human people. I mean, I'd 
I'm almost human. I derive things into transactions, too, and you guys seem offended by that, even though it's true. But go ahead. Yeah, whatever. I'm offended because it's real. I did it as, <laughs> a, I did it as a matter of society. You do it as a matter of rote. Yes, because that's what it is. Anyway. <laughs> I, think, I think the reason why I'm offended by this is because we're just generally clumsy like a hammer. And then you guys are using it like a scalpel. We're like, whoa, shit, man. Like, it's okay when we use it like a bludgeoning tool, but you guys are like nuclear precision. Like, I don't know. It's not good. Yeah, but also, you're married and have kids. So, yeah. so clearly the three of us have very different outlooks on how interacting with humans happen. Yes. It sure. seems like Newton's Law, where it doesn't matter where you are in the universe, it still applies. And it's scary when someone tells you, by the way... Most people think of it transactionally, including the people in your home, and then, like, the phone is ringing inside the <laughs> house. Right. Phil, quick question. What uh, else do we hold as laws from, like, 1630? Um, exactly. Not so let it go. New laws not are not... They're fine. We're making them better. It's not a hammer. It's a scalpel. I don't like this. I don't like scalpels. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, right. Dinner and a show, but it really should be... Show and then dinner. Yeah, so you can it, discuss because you can discuss the know, movie. And, yeah, yeah. But most if you don't have, have a good life, topic. so going to a show at like five thirty is a fucking strain. That too, it's really difficult because people are working. Hey, man. So. Yeah, you get done at four thirty, and then you get home. And you're like, okay, well, I'm hungry, <sighs> so I'm gonna go eat, and then my entertainment Which for the dinner and a show. That's why. And then the post show is meant to be the discussion of the show. Nope, I yeah, see what it is. I see what it is. No, it no, should be. It's, no, it's don't. No one wants to talk. They just want to have dinner, go to the movie, and then bang. And then they don't want to talk. There, there's no discussion. Wait, no. no then, talk. then the dinner. The movie, movie is the excuse to not no, talk. No, no. no. The, <laughs> yeah, the that's movie true. and dinner went real well if you're just banging. Like banging is a very personal thing, and though some people may just be like, "Yeah, you got an A, I got a B, let's go." Sure. There are. Romance is not a non-zero aspect of this well, transaction. As not only an asexual person, I'm as an aromantic person. <laughs> wow. Um, but there's... Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I agree that that probably exists. I have no real, like... I, I wish no, it was... A uh, but even among uh, lizard people, yeah, I'm a lizard I am, person. <laughs> I, I wish... Well, the movie and dinner is certainly way more of... Uh, a well-balanced beam of which to know a different person. No, you guys are doing it all. You guys are doing it all wrong. Good God. Okay, so in this hypothetical world where lizards actually like other lizards, like the, I hang out with you guys here, well, at, you know. Well, yeah, but you're not fucking either of us. True, but like you can still like Yuck. have. <laughs> yes, I, we enjoy I, this I did... interaction, but the whole point of like dinner and a movie is then, as you said. Bang. No, God, no, I mean, don't that's, be so crude. For some people, that's like ninety nine percent of the reason why. But no, that's unless cruel. you're just but, oh, for the romance no. and not for the because there's oh, they're two just, separate. There's two just separate. Being a tease? No, it's not. Maybe you just enjoy each other's company in a romantic <laughs> I just, way. I really enjoy being fond of fun. No, it doesn't even have to be romantic. You can <laughs> yeah, just you can just go as friends, which I usually think friends. it is. <laughs> All right, Until so, I'm told no, otherwise. Then. You guys are just like, oh shit. <laughs> you guys are going to very dangerous territories where I actually have to make a Friday or Saturday night plan with you guys to show you how it's actually done. <laughs> because you guys clearly don't know what yeah, you're doing. Just, the two of us following you and the editor are like, no. Yeah, just... The editor... Me pantomiming writing in a notebook. Oh, God. And you just being like, you... I don't understand why we're I'm here. <laughs> she put the hand around him? How is that yeah. romantic? You guys are just... You guys are wrong. I'm wrong, too, but you guys are also ear. wrong, How too. How are we wrong? So the thing is, the order of operations is going to be, you go get coffee first, right? Wait, hey, no. Now coffee's involved? Coffee's always involved. Is this a day thing? Like, is this... Yeah. Okay, so wait, let's wait, say, So is, let's, is this a Saturday? This is a at noon, Saturday. you get coffee. It's not a full Saturday. At four, you get food. At seven, you go to a oh movie. Oh, my God. Do I have to explain and everything at, to you? Yes, and please. And you get All right. drinks. Yeah. Look, what I have no experience, day? and I oh, don't understand. Right. So, all right, the editor hates it when I rant, but you guys kind of make me like put my foot in my mouth, and then you guys laugh, no, and no, then I listen to myself talk, and I'm like, God damn it, you Phil, guys did it again. Phil, Phil, I'm 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 gonna break the fourth wall right now. Okay, this is how you're gonna explain it to your kids. We're giving you as much obfuscation oh, as we can. I'm not. So I'm you can... I'm perfectly serious. Oh no, I'm being a dick. Well, I know oh, you so... are. You. <laughs> This is how you're going to explain it to your kids. Uh, how are you going to explain court, uh, courtship and uh, courting to your children? You know, I actually had this not. conversation with my um, uh, with my mentor. 
And I, I have asked him, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, right? And he's like, oh, that's fine. Your kids will know more. And it's like, well, I actually talked to him about a world of Facebook and, and having kids having cell phones at age six. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, don't worry. Your kid will know way more about this shit than you do. You're not going to go ahead of this curve. Sorry. Right. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's reassuring. fucking disturbing. <laughs> and he's like, well, that's, that's accurate. It's yeah. been like that forever. Mm-hmm. Like, your parents didn't know shit about AOL and their parents didn't know shit about television. Right. Like, I'm, it's just my my. 1750 and 1150 argument holds now yes. because you go back 50 years, people have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. And so, and I don't know, like, again, and I argued that, you know, in five years, it's going to be a completely different always. Yes. But, no, you guys are doing it completely wrong. And, yes, if my future, like, uh, unsolicited advice is heard by others, um, you're doing it wrong, too, in the future. So this is what you would do. You don't go on a Friday or a Saturday because that's too much expectations. How dare you? You're demanding a good time right off the bat. You're going to get... Yeah, Thursday. Who does shit on Thursday? Exactly. Monday. I work on Thursday. Or two... Monday. Monday is terrible. You monster. Thursday is just close enough no. to the weekend it, to have a good time. No, it's, it's Tuesday or Thursday because there needs to be a breakup between Monday, Wednesday, Friday. No, I want to hear this. I want to hear this terrible idea. Go on, Phil. Okay, thank you. I'm making it worse. Thursday is better than Friday or Saturday because that has too much expectation. All right. So on a Thursday, you're done with your shift. And you're going to go to the person that you're asking. In the capitalist American society. Yeah, so whenever that is. And you you ask the person you're interested in. And in my belief, uh, outside of femaledatingstrategies.com or whatever. Like if, is that a site? Sure. Mike is taking notes. <laughs> you wouldn't go and... Um, oh, God damn, I'm ranting. Okay, you wouldn't... If you're going to ask for someone's attention, right? You should probably be the one that has to pay for that privilege. I'm just being an asshole, but like I would say, hey, in a romantic setting, would you like to spend an evening with me? And my answer, if I was a person who was a target, would be like, go fuck off. Like, I already have a pretty full plate. I don't want to do any of this shit with you. And then the answer would be like, oh, well, okay. No, if I said, okay, would you like to spend an evening with me? And then um, also you have to split halvesies. I'd be like, what the fuck is in it for me? I already had a great Thursday plan, which is to go home and just go to sleep. So go fuck off. I feel like if you're the one that's asking for someone's time and you're looking at them from a professional, like from a pro- romantic side, but, it should be. But does that not give a different expectation as though you're asking for that on a Friday? Like, wouldn't splitting a Friday be less expectation than one of the two parties paying for it on a Thursday? Because one of the two parties is expected to be entertained because one is going to pay for all of it, so, uh, as opposed to a split thing, end, even though on Friday. What's the end game for the romance? It's right? just companion. Oh, this is a weird part. So, okay. That's why I'm saying I don't answer. understand why, like, if it's mutual I've, I've, benefit, I've, why I've does the person on, who's asking have to pay? But I've been on first dates The person who's asking? Be, sorry. Engagements have happened where I'm like, I'll pay for it. And they have been, that's weird. I'll, I'll pay for what I bought because I'm an adult and I can partake in where yeah. I want to spend my time. I'm an idiot, so agree. No, but it's like, it, is that a non-zero? Is that more important? If you're, you, you got to read the room. Like, you can't just go in there with, like, a checkbox and be like, oh, this will get me where I want. No, you have to understand, like, improv, what to do and what not to do. But well, No, you have to understand depression where I feel that I'm a tax on whoever I hang out with. In which case, I will pay people to hang out with me because I feel I'm not worth it. Yeah, that's actually that my, that's my was too. Like, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. But I found out that God. that's not right. That's not that it's Correct. Right. That is not right. <laughs> it's not right. It's not right. So. But, okay, this is how I would handle it again, you know, female dating strategist, you know, go fuck off. But I would say that if I'm going to ask for someone's attention, I would say, hey, look, here's what I have in mind. Uh, if on a Thursday, um, let's go get a cup of coffee. My treat, right? Because a cup of coffee, who cares? I'm like, but how much is a banana? Ten dollars? And then you how go. How much is a beer? Right. Or well, coffee seems to be less intimidating than a beer. Depends right? on. But a beer is more uh, exactly a- accessible in our society. Disagrees. That doesn't matter. You say, look, coffee it, is a pretty coffee. much the. same. Same as beer. The cost is about the same. It's just Look, I have when right, do you want to so, drink? So, so I think ooh, no. When do Wait, you no. Drink? Hold on. Is there <laughs> is, is there a dichotomy <laughs> between coffee and beer or drink, where uh, one will heighten the ex, uh, experience because of the caffeine, and one may 
dull it because of the alcohol. You guys are just being look scalpel. Uh huh. Go scalpel. on. Scalpel. Like it. Obviously, you want to go with movies. <laughs> obviously, want to go with the beer, right? Like if it was possible, beer right okay, away Steve. and beer for the beginning, in the middle, and the end. It's beer all the way through, but you don't do that. It's too uncool. Hey, how's it going? I think you're very cute. Let's start with a shot of whiskey. Yeah, that doesn't work. So what do you do <laughs> instead? Like, eh. <laughs> and again, I'm an asshole. I'm a dumbass. I don't know what I'm talking about. I really want to get like this ten dollars out of the way. So basically, what you would do is say, "Hey, I want a cup of coffee." Like, "Hey, would you? I'll cup of coffee, my treat." And then, okay, get a cup of coffee, right? You go to not a coffee place, but you go to a place that has coffee and beer and like kind of small food, right? So you're not hungry because you just finished your shift, but you're not going to eat a fucking spaghetti either, right? Like you just want enough Tapas. to tie you over. But we're not going to a coffee place that happens to be across the street from a place that has great appetizers, that happens to be... Whatever. Like, yeah, what, doesn't perfect. matter. Play <laughs> by ear, man. Like you just make So you don't want to go to an Olive Garden? No, don't okay. do an Olive Garden. And go to a place that people know you, right? Like, don't be an asshole in a shut-in. Right? Oh, my God, you guys are cre- you're killing me here. Okay. No, we're, we're in a metropolitan area of three million people. Where the fuck are we supposed to go where we're known after um, two years of a pandemic? Just Well, I mean, now, but yeah, well, even, back in the back in the, <laughs> back in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, back when we had these things. Like, man, I, we're, we're, we've given up our five-year moratorium. All right, so. It doesn't. Anyway, just work with me <laughs> Whatever. here. Whatever, okay. No, so, no. Date, um, dates I, on, you're, you, you get date, coffee. You get a you cup get of coffee, you get some tapas, delicious food. Whatever. You, the people okay. know who you are, right. right? The people can call you by your first name. Because bullshit, you go there. Okay, sure. This is not bullshit. Maybe. Jesus no, Christ, that, guys. Maybe you're oh, a regular. You oh, eat there every day. You're a regular. You're, 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 what you're <laughs> doing here is knowing that the people... That's Jim. Trust me. Like... It, It'd be sure, weird. he's going through some time, but he's real good okay. with his daughters, let me tell I, you. I, I they don't not, have to I tell would you. Not, I would not take a potential, like maybe if it was a date you've been dating for a while or whatever, but I wouldn't take like a first date to a place where people know you. Because if it's if it goes downhill fast. Like, I have stopped buying alcohol it's gonna places ruin that place where they you. know my name. It doesn't name. matter. Okay, guys. It doesn't That's matter. Weird. It's like Lies. It's like a burner phone. This is a burner restaurant. But the idea is that you are already at least scouted this place out, right? Okay. Okay. Experience with is not they know your name. Well, obviously the... the, You looked at the menu and you decided this was a safe place to eat. (laughs) The ideal is that you would take them to a place where you are comfortable. The idea is that you would take them to a place that you are comfortable, Mm -hmm. right? Hopefully you're comfortable enough that people know you by name. It doesn't have to be everybody. (laughs) Assholes. Anyway, so you go get a, you get like a cup of coffee, some scones. I don't know what people eat these days. And then you go and um, you say, hey, look, there's a nice theater nearby. Let's go watch something. You don't go to fucking like AMC. That's ridiculous. You go to a nice like, you know, hip hipster type of movie place. <laughs> yeah, excuse me while I uh, ask you on a first date to go to this theater that is... 37 blocks off of Hiawatha as opposed to right off of 36. I mean, you play it by ear if it's better or not. Comfort of interaction and proximity. uh, That's what made AMC what AMC is. No, Because of this idea of dating. You guys are just breaking holes in your antiquated view of relationships. I'm breaking like this. I'm just a lizard here. Like, (laughs) why the fuck is this such a like? Why is this a complicated thing? Just just ask your fucking person you're going with. Hey, you hungry? Great. Want to go eat somewhere? Cool. What do you like? Let's find a place. Cool. Let's go do that. No, no, wait, wait, no, no, no. You're, you think you think as a male in America, you can have a conversation prior to trying to engage in romantic expositions? Oh, romance, romance. Uh-huh. Sorry. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. No. There, the there are steps. Michael, you're ridiculous. The whole <laughs> argument, the whole point is. Wait, am I being facetious? The whole point right now? is. The, the whole point, point is, is that you're to supposed to stay have... home and sit on your couch and watch. TV I love. I can't yourself. even explain my shitty strategy to you guys. <laughs> I, mean, but... I don't get what you're saying. I really like that. This idea of I would like to just watch films and things that have took uh, have millions of dollars behind it with hundreds of people making it personally. In my own home, for my own sole enjoyment. In your where I can, pants. Where I can pause it and take it in at my leisure, as opposed to going to a place where this sense of art is only being portrayed to me in this very specific context, of which I have to take in all of what the art I am looking at is in a single dose, without 
my preconceived notions or my ability to stop it is better. It's all a matter of how you ingest the media you watch. Going to a movie in a movie theater separates you from every other part of your life. That is part of the escapism, is you are in a theater and you are watching a two-hour, hopefully good movie. Not Transformers, not some Marvel bullshit, but Marvel has its place in a theater because it is a spectacle. That is that separation of consuming that art. It if, is not just dating. If, um, By the process of the prompt we were given, sure, watching at home is way the fuck more comfortable. It is not the same media ingestion as it is going to a theater where you are isolated and your only focus is on what is yeah, on the screen. Except for the fact that the person next to you is... That's a role. We're not talking about dating. We're not talking about dating. I'm not talking about dating. I'm talking audience. about the guy who's sitting, yeah, yeah, yeah. some yeah. guy sitting but, next to you, chit chatting with his date, saying, hey, "Sure, see that? That's the thing." And then the author but that the collective and you're like, response and interaction makes or breaks films. Uh, or when the you know that some is part of the process. Their fucking the fact gaggle. that it's it's going to uh, would you rather watch Hamilton? Uh, from your home, or would you rather go to a theater to see these actors on stage do a thing? I would choose neither. Sure. A That's lot of other me. people <laughs> ingest that art. Would you rather go to a live... Sh- it's a matter of how you want to view the art that true. is uh, made and given to you. Yep, that's true. So if you want to be a part of the show, which the audience in a theater... At a movie theater, is part of the show. The audience at a Broadway show is part of the show. The audience at live music entertainment is part of the show. The artists at, or sorry, the uh, audience is part of any type of presentation of any art. So it's a dichotomy of, do you want to experience this art as a collective where you can look at the other people around you and be like, fuck, we just saw that. Or do you just want to take it for what it is? And not have that collective experience of experiencing art. Uh, I'll choose the second one. Sure. I'll choose That's the, fair. I'll choose the second one. Uh, That's why HBO Max is great. <clears throat> or any other streaming service where it's like, or just we <laughs> nichely will provide it for you at home. Or if you do not pay for our service, you can pay for what our monthly service is to go watch it in a theater before it goes elsewhere. I watched Doom on HBO Max. That's why I got HBO Max. I've also paid to watch Dune at an AMC theater. Yeah. And Dune at AMC was a much better experience. Because yeah. the spectacle of that movie was way better than me seeing it I guess on I'm my just, television. I guess I'm just not, like, I just don't, I'm not, I don't care about the big screen. And I, I really hate stupid theater chairs. I think it smells weird. I don't, I'm not a sweets person. Like, I like popcorn, but, like, I can make better popcorn. Yeah, yeah but I don't buy shit. I go, if I'm so, going to see a movie at the theater, it's because so of like, the movie. And I also, here's another thing. I also live alone. I don't have kids. So it's very easy for me to just mm-hmm. turn off everything in my life <laughs> and mm, sit that, down that, and watch a movie although we went, in the quiet I, of my I don't sanctum. know how long we went about your dating diatribe. I wasn't able to go anywhere because you guys kept interrupting me every. It wasn't going seconds. anywhere like Dan yeah, generally like, does. You, you, <laughs> you went on a tangent that didn't deal with the topic. What are you talking about? I couldn't even explain myself because I couldn't even get my foot in the theater of a why it's important to set it up that way. You guys kept on interrupting, which is was, hilarious. You know what? We, don't, we did. We Share did. experience. You, no, no. What are you, I didn't even no, no, have a no, chance no. to make my argument. No, what Phil's argument was, and here I'm just guessing, so part of my But here's my, here's my guess on what your argument was. You learn about the person you're with based on where they take you. Is that what your argument was? Please tell me it was right. <laughs> You said that it's better to watch it. At- he just ignores my. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to answer your question. <laughs> you you said it was better to watch it at home versus anything else. Objectively, yes. Objectively, and my argument back was not for every condition. Mm. And my one of those conditions was dating. And you're like, well, how would you just get it in dinner and show? I'm like, yeah, I know it's stupid. It's really stupid to go to a theater and watch it, and then go home and say bye. You didn't talk to the person at all. Mm-hmm. So it's not really like you're, yeah, that's a better argument that you gave for me. But no, I'm not going to let you talk, Micah, because you kept interrupting every 15 fucking seconds. It's true. Let me at least finish the whole point of this. 
is that you go ahead and you want to be able to connect with somebody in a dark room. Um, you wouldn't want to necessarily bring them at your house. It doesn't have the same feeling, what Mike is saying. It's not quite the spectacle. It's not That's quite true. the same context. And it's a lot less creepy. It's a lot less creepy. In a public setting for like a first or second date. When you, you're not really sure of your comfort level What yet. you would want to do in a date setting... Because again, I said, okay, you, you meant, your argument is it's, it's objectively better. And I just decided to pick one like splinter to say, well, not for this edge case, which is dating, which a lot of people do. So if you're going to do this right, you wouldn't want to take them home because it's uncomfortable. It's just fucking creepy. It, it, yeah, if it's like if, a first date. If you're like really comfortable and you've been dating for a while, then sure. Then it wouldn't really, yeah. But in this type of situation, in this type of like condition, I would say, and he's like, well, you, would, you wouldn't eat. and You would eat first and then you'd go to the movies. Like, you don't have to do that. Sure I just laid out a theory about how you can get around that problem. Oh, well, then you have to commute a long time. Like, no, that's the whole point of the fucking date. The whole point of the date is that the person can leave at any time of their will. And you give them a lot of exit ramps. You don't want to put them in your own house. That's weird. That is weird. So, like, it takes time to get to one one point to the next. But that's a good thing. Because you're supposed to be talking. You're not supposed to just stare at each other not saying anything. Also, you could, and it's a bad date, and they won't get you to the theater. Because they said, you know what? I have something else I have to do that popped up. My uncle just died. Bye. (laughs) And that's fine. Peace. But then you go to the theater. You watch something. And then you go back and you're like, hey, um, I'm hungry, aren't you? And then you go and you have dinner. And if you have nothing to talk about because you have nothing to talk about because you're the type of person who doesn't have any opinions at all, at least you have the backup plan to just talk about the movie you just watched. Hey, so did you think it was good? Nah, I don't know. Like, why would the actor do that? And then you end the day. You don't have to have fucking coitus. Like, that's not the point for most people in relationships. I don't understand why you guys jump into that. Oh, then you bang. It's like, that's not how this works. It's true. It isn't how it works. I mean, maybe it works now. I'm, I'm 1997 fucking time capsule. What the fuck do I know? But in my head in the 90s, this is what I would imagine people would want. They want companionship. They want somebody that is their friend. Mm-hmm. And it happens to, have, you know, to be the opposite sex in this case. But you probably could do something very similar for the friend that's a guy. You don't have to pay. Hey, let's go some beers. Oh, hey, you want to watch that movie? It's that Marvel thing. Okay. Then afterwards, hey, you want to get a bite to eat? We'll go get a burger joint. It's fucking weird to do that at your house. And that's just one edge case that I'm presenting to you guys. Yeah, you can make fun of my dating strategy, and that's great. But that's the same... Says the the single people who don't date. But the context (laughs) of what you're saying, Micah, is exactly dovetails into my argument. That is a totally different experience. And way less fucking creepy. So... If you're single, fine, right? Uh, maybe you can even say, why not watch it on your cell phone? It's the same thing, right? You still get the media ingested into your eyeballs. So the cell phone on a subway station is better than going to a theater because it's more comfortable. You can pause it any time and you can just resume when you get to your next you know, point of interest. I would argue that on a whole, objectively speaking, like you have to weigh out the pros and cons. But on one edge case that I presented, I'm sure there's many others, it doesn't hold true. That's my opinion. End of rant. Well, as a lizard person, for me, I guess, then. Just me. Just me and any of my lizard bros and bro wets. I don't know what you'd call them. Who's back? Sisters? Sisses? I got nothing. For all the other lizards out there, <laughs> uh, it's probably objectively better just to watch a movie at home by yourself. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's um, way better. <laughs> it's just just more comfortable. It's less awkward all around um, because you don't end up, like, meeting a friend for a movie and dinner and then finding out later <laughs> that, oh, this was a date? Okay. Whoops. No, I, I agree. Um, I, I'd rather watch a movie at home, even at a date, because it's expensive. That too. I don't even know how expensive I don't know. Like, AMC that, movies like, are now, but they're yeah. that, that twenty dollars or something. That like, eighth mm. week spectacle on a Thursday, it's real nice. Like the theater experience when there's twelve people I in really, the theater. I really hate theaters. Never take like, like that, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> I watched uh, Ghost in the Shell, the American movie, mm. at an IMAX with me, my brother, his girlfriend. And two people. <laughs> the movie sucked. Mm. The experience was great. 
<laughs> like, being in that seat and only focusing on this shit movie where it's like, that was from the anime. That was from the anime. Have any of you that guys That was from the anime. What? It's from the anime! Okay. And then one person <sighs> ate going, shh, will stick out to me for so long. Shut the fuck up! Is what they're. <laughs> yeah, right. but five people. This is why like... I don't go to the fucking theaters. <laughs> assholes like that. But it was <laughs> in the anime. If it was a good movie, I went to see Dune when it was like it's last week, and I watched it. I took it in. The spectacle, the size, the scale. It was great. It was a good movie. Have you guys ever watched? Go to the movie? show. Shit. Have what? you ever walked out of a theater? Yes. No, because I paid money for that. I've walked out of a theater. I walked out. Because the movie, I, I was just like, this is stupid and I'm not going to waste more of my time. I, I don't care Fuck the sunken cosmos. <laughs> no, because the sunken That is cost- actually true. You are actually employing it, yes. <laughs> I'm like, no. Yeah, as, as I was talking about earlier, Archive 81, like eight episode season, two, three episodes, great. I still watched the, the other five hours. I'm not going to waste my time on something I'm not into it. I went through five seasons of Lost, all right? Sun Cost Fallacy is no. I actually watch all of Lost. I watch all of Lost too. That's so bad. I have Why not did watched, we do that? I have not oh. watched one episode. Just watch all of Lost minus the last season. No, no, just, no. Just, just, just watch the first season and just be like, well, they all died. Yeah, that's pretty. it's better. Yep. Or just don't watch. Nothing it. else fucking matters okay. because nothing matters. I do have. I think the editor is going to be upset if I don't mention this story. Back when we were in college, we would used to go to the like the late night. Um, Showings that had nobody there. Mm-hmm. It's like the Thursday thing. Um, and if we didn't have any classes early on Friday morning, consider it like part of the weekend. <laughs> we could go and go to Dairy Queen <laughs> and get blizzards. Mm-hmm. And then we would go to the theater and eat it while watching the mm-hmm. show. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> it was so ridiculous. There, and I loved it. Sounds reasonable to me. There was a dollar theater. Uh, where me and a college friend would go to where they would put a six pack in a backpack because they never searched backs. Yeah, I bet that back then, yeah. And it was just like walking in. Yep. <laughs> side to side. Yep. No one's going to see The shuffling that. of like... Most oh. people are like probably thinking to themselves, God, I wish I had thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's like when you're watching the Avengers, you're like, oh, fuck, I, I'm... Was it a 12? God damn, only a six. Oh, well, I guess Shakespeare... God damn it, Robert Downey Jr. Um, so I'm going to just say that to uh, Sarah's point, you're absolutely right. Watching movies at home is way fucking just better. Just better if, it if is. you're a single lizard. No, I think even for, like, I, I have no appetite for even having it's any not, It's sympathy not good for early for people dating Michael or likes, potential cohabitation. Likes movies? Yeah. I, I don't. I'm... I like the spectacle <laughs> and only certain. Like, the last Bond movie... Not need to be watching a theater. Matrix movie? Why would you watch in the theater? Oh, I was so happy that was an HBO. I'm just an yeah. old curmudgeon. No, I just I, don't want to leave my Some house. things. I just some things need that spectacle. But some things, I many just, things do not. But yeah. I, don't, like, I don't go, like, I don't really like concerts. I don't really like going to, like, shows. It's just not for me. But to I'm your, a lizard. To your no. argument, though, about, like, how mm. on the whole, right? I think that if you look at on like uh, objectively on the whole it's better to watch it at home. That's probably true for 99% of movies. And objectively on the whole Any would you really if <laughs> would you really go on a date and bring them to a movie? Probably not. Yeah, so not I would but say if, 99%. If a perfect right. circle was nope. in the area, nope. you would not see them live. Nope. Why would, would you? you watch that recording live? Nope. No. Like the recording nope. of that live, you nope. just want. Nope. It's just nope. Only what was recorded. Yep. You're fine with that. I like their album, and that's it. Okay. I have no like attachment to seeing the band. Hmm. I do not care. There's a Lindsey Sterling sometimes comes to Minneapolis, and I like to go there and watch it. I have yeah. yeah. But no. like I don't. As Eddie Izzer was here. No, I wouldn't buy a ticket. No. no. Comedians, I would go. If someone invited me and they had already bought tickets and the person they were going with backed out for some reason and they're like, hey, Sarah, you want to go? I'd be like, sure, as long as I'm not paying for the ticket. What was intention of purpose where I would buy a ticket to Eddie's or for you? Would you go to that show I would, with your consent? Would you feel uncomfortable? I would feel slightly uncomfortable. Those okay. are really expensive tickets and I'd be like, what the fuck? What the fuck, Micah? Go but ahead. if you said, oh, I bought it for my friend, but then he dropped out, hey, I got a ticket, when I come. Then I'd go. So me lying is fine, but it's, you have zero interest in going to that if... I would not buy it for myself. Presumption? Sure. But if, like... But if, if I'm buying it for you. Strings attached, man. It feels weird. It does. It, it feels, feels weird. Kind of, no, yeah. Yeah, it's not... It's like I, a phantom it's like string. 
Is that make it better? It's or still worse? really expensive. As a celebration, no, but I, as a celebration still, of our friendship, it's still a very expensive transaction that I would not feel comfortable yeah. reciprocating. If someone okay. gave you like fifty bucks for like a birthday present, it's like yeah, okay. But if someone gave you five hundred dollars, it'd be like this is out of line. Yeah, if it's five thousand. It's like what are you what doing? What the fuck? No, no, right. no, what do you want? Yeah, but if it's fifty dollars uh, in cash, fifty dollars in gift card, fifty dollars for a ticket to a show, are those different? Yes, gifts. They are. Yeah, are all of them are One equally... is an experience, so $50 is not that expensive for a, a small experience. $50 in cash, like, that's really nice, well, but $50 very $50 for a specific thing. $50 gift card. and a gift card, fuck you, I hate your fucking gift card, don't give me a gift oh, card. Oh, so that's the... <laughs> So fifty dollars yeah, for the show is the best. Just give me the fuck. Fifty dollars cash is the second. Yep. Fifty dollars gift card is fuck the most insulting. Fuck your gift card okay. because yeah, fuck your you gift card that? because you're telling me where to shop. <laughs> yeah, you asshole. Yeah, that there's strings attached to that. But also, this thank you for the gift card. <laughs> like, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take it. But fuck you. But I'm thank you. Fuck you in my head. But, yeah. yeah, fifty dollars cash. Like, okay, well, that's impersonal. But I mean, I'm not gonna say no to cash. That's nice. Um, unless it's a wow. lot of cash. Uh, fifty dollars is maybe pushing it. That's a bit much. I yeah, think. I, I wouldn't. I would probably. Be we like, have inflation. Why? Fifty bucks is kind of stupid. yeah. Fifty <laughs> bucks in Biden saying. dollars is like ten dollars. Yeah, so like exactly, year, that's ten dollars in Clinton dollars, which I'm cheap. So no, that's ten dollars in early Biden years. <laughs> but like, you no, know, no, it wasn't. You, you don't know me, where inflation has been. You want to buy me a like ticket to nuts. a movie, even though you know I hate movies. But say I liked movies in this weird situation, like then maybe yeah, because that would probably end up being fifty bucks, right? Like, yeah. You plus me plus the food, food, or if the we beer. Get snacks, you know, whatever. They sell beers down there. So like that's like an evening, right? That would be okay, but like a Idiot ticket is to Idiot is, is, is not fifty is like bucks, three hundred dollars no. right. or something. Like that's a lot. That's too yeah. much. I'd that's like, like saying, hey, don't... happy birthday. Here's a supercomputer. So like, like, why would you? What? Wait, do that? what? Like, Where do you think a supercomputer is now, Phil? And it's like, also different. I don't when know. It's Ten dollars. How the banana comes? <laughs> Also different when it's family versus it's like grand, friends. Right? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Like my cousin. It's real bad. It's real bad. Sorry. I was going to say, my cousin, cousin? My cousin had a, a ticket to see a comedian in St. Paul, and she's not. just She's from outside the cities. Um, and she was going to go with her husband and her mom and dad. Mm-hmm. Well, her mom backed out for whatever reason. I don't know. And so she's like, is, is Sarah, you want to go see this? Comedian you've never heard of? I'm like, well, sure. Wait, who? Throw them under the bus. The they were bad, weren't they? No, they weren't. They were actually pretty funny. Oh, cool. um, Kathleen Madigan. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was. She was pretty. Yeah. She was pretty alright. Um, and yes, it was fun, but I would not have bought this ticket for myself, and I would not have gone if someone was not. Like, I'm thinking about it. you. Why don't you come with me? I already bought the ticket. Pretty no much. pressure. It's like, this is weird. Like, well, I could have said no. Like, like Yeah, but it's also weird to say no, too. It's a weird trap. Well, if I was busy or something, I could just, or even just lie and say I have no interest. Like, or not even lie. Just say, I'm not interested, but thanks. Maybe, for maybe this is my like, Korean training. <laughs> hi. Hi, Sarah. Hey, just so you know. I, I had learned to say ticket. no pretty, pretty aggressively. Um, I was thinking about it. And like, hey, I got all of you guys tickets to go. I've already paid for it. And the limo is already there. It's like, what this is want? weird, right? Want, like, that would be weird. Yeah, I would be like. would be weird. But why would you do that? And then, wait, wait. Phil, d- does and this was also a cousin, not a friend. So yeah, but Phil, do, does the orgy start now or is it after the show? Like, I just uh, what makes this? I think we. I think we can stop here. I don't think there's. Anything is it more. on me being sexually active? Okay, Sarah. No, I think it's just we've, it's hey, okay. we've just beaten no, this. We're done. We've just beaten this horse to death, okay. and we've, we've all agreed so that sorry. movies are just. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Thanks mom. <laughs>